Welcome back to another reaction. Today we got Do Robots Deserves Rights? Wife Machines Become Conscious. This is such an interesting topic to me. I watch like programs like Westworld and stuff and I fucking love it so much. So uh, yeah, let's, let's share this out and see if Robots Deserves Rights. Imagine a future where your toaster anticipates what kind of toast you want. During the day, it scans the internet for new and exciting types of oh, toast. Oh, no. Maybe it asks you about your day and wants to chat about new achievements in toast technology. The book. At what level would it become a person? At which point will you ask yourself if your toaster has feelings? Ah, uh, my toaster's is a real person. Would unplugging it be murder? And would you still own it? Wait, 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 wait. Unplugging it be murder? What if we have a power cut? Would we, <laughs> we just kill the toaster? to give our machines rights? Bro, I was thinking when this kind of video I was thinking more of the lines of like, you know, actual robots, like walking human looking AI ass robots. All around <laughs> we got it toasters. It makes sure discounters are stocked with enough snacks. It serves you up just the right internet yep. ad. Yep. And you may have even read a news story written entirely by a machine. Yep. Right now, we look at chatbots like Siri and laugh at their primitive simulated emotions. But it's likely that we will have to deal with beings that make it hard to draw the line between real and simulated humanity. Are there any machines in it's actually scary. that deserve rights? Most likely, not yet. But if they come, we are not prepared for it. Much of the philosophy of rights is ill-equipped to deal with the case of artificial intelligence. Most claims for rights, whether human or animal, are centered around the question of consciousness. But the thing is, right, we're saying, are we going to give um, robots rights if it becomes conscious? But we don't even give animals rights. And they're conscious. So, like, probably not. We're humans, you know what I mean? So, like, yeah, probably not. Unfortunately, nobody knows what consciousness is. Some think that it's immaterial. Others say it's a state of matter, like gas or liquid. Regardless of the precise definition, we have an intuitive knowledge of consciousness because we experience it. Yeah. We're aware of ourselves and our surroundings and know what unconsciousness feels like. Some neuroscientists believe that any sufficiently advanced system can generate consciousness. So if your toaster's hardware was powerful enough, it may become self-aware. If it does, would it deserve rights? Well, not so fast. Would what we define as rights make sense to it? Consciousness entitles beings to have rights. Bro, listen. Oh, shit. He's getting stabbed in the back. Uh, yeah, I was going to say the robot's just going to stab us in the back. It's going to be like Westworld. If you've not seen Westworld, spoiler alert. But uh, they literally got to turn on the people and, you know, try and take over the world. Because it gives a being the ability to suffer. It means the ability to not only feel pain, but to be aware of it. Right. Robots don't suffer. And they probably True. won't unless we program them to. Without pain or pleasure, there's no preference and rights are meaningless. Our human rights Imagine. are tied to our own programming. For example, we dislike pain because our brains evolved to keep us alive, to stop us from touching a hot fire or to make us run away from predators. Yeah. So we came up with rights that protect us from infringements that cause us pain. Even more abstract rights like freedom are rooted in the way our brains are wired to detect what is fair and unfair. Right. Would a toaster that is unable to move mind <laughs> being locked in a cage? A Would it mind being dismantled if it had no fear of death? Would it mind being insulted if it had no need for self-esteem? But what if we programmed a robot to feel pain and emotions? To be fair, that's what they low-key did on Westworld, actually. So Westworld is a uh, it's a TV show, and it's about, like, robots and them being lifelike. And they actually program them to feel pain and emotion and all that stuff. So they low-key kind of have, you know, they're, they're pretty much humans. To prefer justice over injustice, that is really cool. pleasure over pain, and be aware of it. Would that make them sufficiently human? Many technologists believe that an explosion in technology will occur when artificial intelligence can learn and create their own artificial intelligences yeah. even smarter than themselves. Which will eventually fucking happen. Like, when you actually think about it in, like, the coding world and, like, you know, programming and AIs, they, as soon as they get to a point where, like, they made the AI really, 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 you know, intelligent and it's working, they, and they can, you know, think from themselves, they can, like, learn and code themselves in a way. So, like, you know what I mean? Like, 
learn from we, we have ais that learn anyway so yeah if they learn like yo you know what let's just make our own AI. yeah yeah at this point it the is. question of how robots are programmed will be largely out of our control what if an artificial <laughs> intelligence found it necessary to program the ability to feel pain just as evolutionary biology found it necessary in most living creatures do robots deserve those rights but maybe we should be less worried about the risk that super intelligent robots pose to us and more worried about the danger we pose to them our whole human identity is based on the idea of human exceptionalism that we are special unique snowflakes entitled to dominate the natural world right humans have a history of denying that other beings are capable of suffering as they do in the midst of the scientific revolution René Descartes argued that animals were mere automata robots if you will as such injuring a rabbit was about as morally repugnant as punching a stuffed animal and wow. many of the greatest crimes against humanity were justified by their perpetrators on the grounds that the victims were more animal than civilized human even more problematic is that we have an economic interest in denying robot rights if we can coerce a sentient ai possibly through programmed torture into doing as we please the economic potential is unlimited we've done it before after all violence has been used to force our fellow humans into working and we've never had trouble coming up with ideological justifications slave owners argued that slavery benefited the slaves it put a roof over their head and taught them Christianity. Wow. Men who were against women voting argued that it was in women's own interest to leave the hard decisions to men. Farmers argued that looking after animals and feeding them justifies their early death for our dietary preferences. If robots become sentient, there will be no shortage of arguments for those who say that they should remain without rights, especially from those who stand to profit from it. <laughs> Artificial intelligence raises serious questions about philosophical boundaries. It's actually really cool when you think about it, like how far it's going to go with robots and AIs and how scary it could actually be. But uh, yeah, hope, hopefully, in my, my opinion, hopefully we can make them good. At, oh, to, I'd low-key want to see them like, I'm kind of like on two, uh, on two halves. So like one half, I'm like, make them really intelligent and stuff but we control them right and then the other half i'm like it'll be really cool to see a robot learning a lot from itself and is like pretty much conscious that'd be really fucking cool while we may ask if sentient robots are conscious or deserving of rights it forces us to pose basic questions like what makes us human what makes us deserving of rights Regardless of what we think, the question might need to be resolved in the near future. What are we going to do if robots start demanding their own rights? Damn. Really good video. What can robots demanding rights teach us about us? Really, really, really good video. Honestly, if you guys enjoy stuff like this, go and watch Westworld. Westworld is AI's gaining conscious, so you guys will really love that. Uh, but really good video. Enjoy that one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it too. If you did, make sure you thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video.